Of course, interview is a place where you can have a perception building platform. Also, you are going to market yourself. And the expectation is to get a job by impressing the employer or whoever sitting across the table. So today we are going to discuss about five points that we consider as silly things but that will be the main reason why we lost the last interview or what it could be reason why we are losing the personal interview for a job. So let's start the Educator Daily Show. personal interview is considered as one of the filtering criteria to get a right candidate for the right job. So in this interview many things are measured and benchmarked. The candidates are thoroughly filtered. Sometimes one person will be interviewing you. Sometimes a panel of 12 people from different different departments. So interview is not that easy thing. The questions asked to you is only one part of the filtering criteria. There are thorough observations like how you are behaving in scenarios. Maybe the interview lasted for 5 minutes or maybe for 20 minutes. Whatever may be the length of the interview, many of the clues employer or the interviewer want to measure they will measure for sure. There are many major points to be considered but in this episode we are concentrating on minor things that we usually neglect but maybe this was the main reason why we lost our interview. So first point is telling lies. So whenever you tell lies you make two things either you try to hide the lie by telling too many words or too many lies or maybe you will be moving towards the silent mode. Maybe you don't have a proper statement to withstand your lies or maybe one lie will result for another lie and these lies may be conflicting to each other. Whatever may be the reason whenever you say a lie that can be easily found and if it is found that will be the main and major reason why you lost or you will lose the interview. Second point is the problem with confidence. So confidence can come in two ways. It can be underconfidence or it can be overconfidence. If it is underconfidence, the way how you communicate, the kind of expertise you want to establish in that interview, or maybe the kind of image you want to build in that interview will fade rather. But if you are going as an overconfident person, the problem will be just opposite. You will be making a kind of super man image in the interview panel. They may not like it simply. Maybe because they don't want a superman. They want a normal person who can be fit in a team and the team has to achieve its day to day and short term long term goals. Basically you have to be a brick which can be put on the company's already existing structure or you are going to be a kind of furniture which has to stand in the existing scenario. So you have to balance yourself between this underconfidence and overconfidence level. Third is about the over marketing. Actually it is the part 2 of the point 2 because the confidence level if you are having high you will be having a tendency to market high about you meaning you will over market yourself. Obviously, interview is a such occasion and platform where you have to market yourself. But marketing yourself has to be in line with the vibe that is existing in that interview room or against the panel. Whenever the panel finds you are scratching their ego or if they see that you are not going to be the person who is supposed to stay within the team, performs the daily or monthly or yearly task and delivers towards the organization goals, they may not be able to employ you, they may not be able to select you for the job. So you should be very careful when you are marketing yourself, you should not over market yourself. Fourth point is about the sharing of secrets. We know secrets are something which has to be hidden, which should not be told in every occasion. So whenever you are going for interview, 
the interviewer will try to tease you he or she will try to get some secret about your current employer and in the process of impressing the interviewer or the employer you may reveal certain secrets trade secrets or business secrets also in many countries this kind of secret sharing of the current employer is even a criminal act so basically if the interviewer is asking about some business secrets or even if you are in sales or marketing like how you are dealing with current customer how you got the customer and who all are the customer and which is your current bidding projects all this kind of information if your interviewer is asking then you should gracefully deny their access towards your database for those secrets because these secrets has to be secrets and if you are going to share them even they are not going to take you they will understand that if they are going to employ you obviously in a matter of 3 4 5 6 or 7 years you are going to search job for another position in another company and you are going to share company secret to another employer so their secret also will be revealed this kind of tendency will not be at welcomed by the interviewer and they may not take you or they will hesitate from employing you for the job for which the interview is happening now the fifth and the last silly mistake that you make in your interview over or under ambition we know ambition is good it is needed to grow in any company in any role only ambition keeps us go for that extra mile to do extra work to work on the weekend to extend after 5 pm or 6 pm to work till 10 pm time that you spared for yourself towards the company or organization success so that towards the organizational success you can also achieve your goal and you are going to get that promotion by impressing your superiors so ambition is good but if you have under ambition that kind of vibe if you are going to give for the interviewer you are a straight away no to the job and if you are going to interview with over ambition and with your words and your body language if you are going to exhibit over ambition obviously that is also going to be too dangerous for you to get into that particular job so friends these are the five basic and silly mistake that you make in your interview which makes your performance not up to the mark or that will result in not getting into that particular job obviously there are many more points to be discussed any such point which you find has to be put and which has to be considered while appearing for interview or during the interview you should mention that in the comment box and also about the feedback whatever you have please put on the comment box thank you for watching have a great day